Hey guys, my name is Rudy, and we're getting stuff done. This is part two of the reassembly, and also other things you could try of your BravaJet spray. What you need, to, what you can look at, and how to get these things back together. Thank you, thank you so much, uh, Evergreen 2, for your great idea. Uh, enjoy shooting the video. Like I said, my channel is all about helping people do stuff. So, here we go. Uh, as you can see, I went ahead and cleaned out this spot. I ran it through... You can also get these replaced from iRobot, but I went ahead and, and I cleaned this uh, through my jet spray that's attached to my uh, faucet in the kitchen. So that's all clean. You can see also, this is all nice and clean. It's probably never been this clean since it was new. Now we're going to talk about the dis now we're going to talk about the assembly. But before we get to that, let's talk about some of the other stuff. So if your stuff is still not working, what you can look at is. There's one more hose down here, and it runs from the pump to where it actually gets its water, the sucking action of the water. Um, I'm not going to remove this. Uh, this is a little bit more complicated. You can probably wiggle this out the same way, and to be quite honest with you, uh, it'll be easier just to blow it out uh, either with your mouth or with some kind of a compressed air of some sort to get that out. You could also do the same thing with this side. Uh, I'm not getting into that. Uh, this thing here is a lot of wires laid very, very neatly in here, and I really don't want to mess that up. So, uh, hope this works for you. Now we're going to talk about the reassembly. So, everything is clean as you can see. First thing we're going to do is we're going to reattach. Our sprayer, which is right here. There's better ways of doing this, but I don't have the uh, the capability here. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about getting this thing back together. So, here's our little piece again. And let's see if I can work in reverse here. Okay, so the nozzle hose is back here part out is this way and again it should fit like this like this again so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the spot that it goes to which is right here this is a little tricky and I'm sorry I can't figure out a better camera angle for this and we're going to feed the hose in through here first. I'm just going to lay it here on the wiring. Make sure there's no water in it. And for me, if the if the uh, M6 is facing forward, which it is, the screw should be on your right. So we're going to very carefully slide the one side here with the hole, line it up with the side with the screw, put it together, and then very carefully slide this in. I'm gonna have to get a little better view here. Uh, this is the fun part about taking stuff apart always. Okay, I got this in here. I'm going to line it up. This is going to take me a minute to find the right spot. Yeah, right about here. Looking at, I'm going to take my screwdriver and start very carefully screwing this in to match the bottom. Let's see if I nailed it. Yes, I did. And now, just as we did it before, very carefully rock this in here. And I feel like it's sitting here this way with slightly pointed downward. And 
we're going to connect this piece here back to the pump which is right here try not to tug on the wires and just kind of work the work the hose back on here once you take it off once it comes off a little looser if it becomes a problem you can just put a small dab of glue a very small one like I said there's plenty of slack in here so I see that my nozzle is relatively straight where it needs to be we'll check that once we put everything back together so next thing I'll lay this back slide it over the back side here and now we're left with that little drain plug right here actually the pump so what we got to do is we got to line this up and this is horribly hard to do on the camera but you definitely want to work work the rubber piece through so you can see it sticking out the camera doesn't really do it justice make sure that the seal is all the way out there's nothing holding it in so you definitely want to get a good tight seal on this when you put this thing back together okay For me I'm going to go ahead and fasten the three screws back here actually I'm going to fasten the first one and I'm going to look at that front again just to make sure we're good so now we're doing the uh, top screw here and I'm just going to do a test fit here just to see where all this thing sits so I'm going to take the front face shield put it around the switch kind of drop it into place this thing kind of locks in over here and we want to make sure uh -huh. so our sprayer is aiming down we definitely don't want that so that means I did something wrong here so I'm going to pop this out And you know what they say, uh, this is uh, reassembly is always a little bit harder than the disassembly. Pretty easy to take it apart, it's a little bit more to put it back together. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna remove this and very carefully I'm gonna play with the alignment over here. So I'm gonna un unloose this here. And I realize this is not the most exciting part, but it is a very important part to make sure that. You got this thing back the way it was. The last thing you want to do is have to take this apart again. Okay, so. Alright, let's see here. So I'm going to try to feed this in here again so I also want to check something make sure I'm not doing this backwards nope there's no way to put this backwards and we're gonna check this so I'm gonna put this inside for a minute and this is half the fun okay so there's a little groove back here. I'm going to put this up here a little closer. There is a little groove. You can see them there right here, the two grooves. And you want to make sure you line those up. That's what I failed to do last time. And now we're going to put this through again. Okay, we're going to line the, the piece that was there and also I didn't realize this is a little bit hard to see. So I'm using my thumb to support support it. And I'm gonna put the put the two components together. I'll try to put them together here. And this is also showing you what it's like doing the whole thing for real. Okay, I need to get this thing in here a little bit more because my thing is aimed downward so I'm going to try to screw this in a little bit more there we go okay so now I'm able to push it back in and now it's actually flush and it's aiming straight out 
I'm going to go ahead and finish tightening the screw. And I'll show this to you. So it needs to be flush like this. It's really hard to see. But it needs to be straight out, not aim downward like I had it before. So I'm happy with this setup now. So take two. I'm going to go ahead and point the lid hands towards me. Very carefully feed the wires back in. Make sure all your connections are on there. And we're going to rest the back end over here. And kind of work it in. This thing moves a little bit. It's got a little bit of a cushion in here. Close the lid for the moment. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put my back screw in the top one. And putting together the three screws back here. I appreciate the idea, you know, uh, I was going to do this and uh, this gave me motivation to actually get this done. I've been wanting to do this for a while with mine. Okay, so now as I said, uh, remember I told you when these come out, they do. Uh, this side stayed in, this side didn't. So all you got to do is really, there's a little hole, you can see it through here, take the top piece. Find it, find the little sweet spot, drop it in. This is important, this is your sensor. Okay, now, putting the front piece on. The one thing it does, it does slide over the top of this button here, the eject button. Once you get that in, you can wiggle the sides in. And here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start putting my screws in. Uh, Remember what I said about the screws and working on a bare floor? Uh, this is a good thing because a lot of my screws here never came out. They stayed in the casing, which is actually a good thing, but I, I did drop a few here on the floor. Um, I can see a little bit better here today, so it's a little easier for me to see if there's a screw in a hole or not. And I have my, my container of screws here off camera. So then we're going to put this in. Make sure everything is flush. There's this thing does move a little bit. That's because it provides enough room for the bump and go action that this thing is known to do. And okay. And for testing purposes, this will work. Uh, I'm gonna put in the rest of the screws later. Also, you guys know how to put in screws. That's not a big deal. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in the battery. This battery only goes in one way. Facing forward. Drops right in. Do that again. Battery just kind of sort of drops, literally. Okay, so battery goes in. These screws actually stay with the battery, so it's nice and easy. This is a really good design. Screw that in. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put in our, our pad. My pad really needs to be clean. Lock it in place until it clicks. Perfect. Okay. Next thing we're going to do to check our work, we're going to go ahead and open this up. Drop in our filter into the hole right here. Make sure it's nice and seated all the way in. And we're going to take a tank, which has got a little bit of water in here, not all the way through. Maybe I should have filled it. Drop that all the way in. Lock it in. Close it. Okay. 
and looks like mine is completely discharged. So, more to come on that. Once I get it charged back up, we'll run this again, test it. Once everything you're happy with everything, put the remaining screws in, and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching. Take care.